Okay, um, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Interesting times. Thank you for tuning in, for clicking the link that got you here, and hopefully for the support I'm going to see through all the subscriptions. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I just wanted to share with you my experience that I've had living in Airbnb so far um, since the beginning of this year, 2020. How did I end up here living the luxurious life? <laughs> Sorry. Last year I was living at home and I was working from home. So obviously it meant that I had to like do some chores during the week such as cooking and dishes and stuff like that mm, which was okay you know it was fine until it got to a point where I just felt like <clears throat> I was just being undermined basically um, so what had happened was I think I had let, yeah, I had gone away for the weekend for like two weekends in a row. And both Sundays I come back these dishes and it's like it didn't make sense. And I brought up my grievances with my dad. And he was like, he ain't um yeah, he was basically it was between me and his girlfriend and we were sorted out what was our agreement and he ain't and she was gone by the way i think yeah she wasn't around so when i was speaking to him it was just the two of us and then it was like he was like yeah he isn't about he isn't gonna do dishes in the house where he has his daughter he's well and able and all those things i don't remember the exact quote but it was at that moment when i was just like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just like, I'm out. Um, I didn't say it, but in my head, I was just like, okay, I've come to the end of my journey living at home. I mean, it was long overdue anyway. My original plan was that I was gonna stay at home in 2020 this year as well um, and save money, like, instead of paying rent. Um, because I have goals that I'm saving towards but I was just like you know <clears throat> my sanity is more important so I was like okay private property property 24 rentals what's good I even checked Gumtree I was just like yo and this was the end of November yes end of November or early December somewhere there and Obviously, there were lots of listings because lots of people are moving and, you know, January is basically when everyone moves and they start their new things, such as I was about to do. However, my December was very busy. Just, it was going to be difficult to look for a place, go to viewings and do all these things. Um, and I just had limited time. So I'm out here, I'm looking and gonna, I am like, my emotions are high and my adrenaline is up and I'm just like, you know, I'm finding a place, I'm gonna find it in one day <laughs> because somehow I thought that that's how things work, I don't know why, <laughs> but yeah, so I look for places and there were a few, there were a few okay places. Um, but the only thing is that I just felt like they were a bit expensive and the, the issue of like having to furnish empty apartments, it got me. And then also like the price that you're pay paying for, it doesn't include obviously the furniture because you're going to have to get that yourself. And most places they don't include water or electricity or Wi-Fi. So those are going to be additional things that you have to pay for. And I was just like, it's going to be a lot of money. A lot of money. 
but I was determined and I kept looking I think I messaged a couple of agents and I was about to go see this other place I think it was like 5.8 for like a one bedroom um, but it was empty and came with nothing else but I was gonna go view it and do all these other things so it's the next day I'm supposed to go view a place and I was just thinking is there not a better way and I don't know when this idea came to me but it did and it was just like hallelujah it was amazing I was just like why don't you try Airbnb because like I said my one of my biggest chats is that it doesn't come with anything like if you just rent a place so I was like hmm let's see what Airbnb rates are because like I travel a lot and I've used Airbnb like countless times and I've always been happy yes I have always been happy um, overall so I was just like okay let me check and then I put in dates that covered the whole of January because I was like yeah let's see we'll try January and then in that month I'll look for places like I'll have more time it'll be fine then by Feb I'll move into like an actual apartment so cool I put in dates I put in the area and then the most like amazing thing Airbnb has this thing where if you put in the amount of time for like more than 30 days I don't know if it's 28 or 30 but like somewhere there it gives you a monthly rate instead of like the day by day rate and most listings have like discounts for the month so I was like shit these prices are actually not that bad and they come like Airbnb comes with everything water electricity Wi-Fi lots of the time some of them have DSTVs some of them have cleaning services like i was like shit now i'm excited i'm looking and yeah that's how i ended up here and i stayed in that first airbnb that i'm talking about for a month because i booked for a month and it was like an absolute steal then I'm going to show you afterwards the footage of the place that I'm currently in, which is this place. You can't see anything but the wall and the painting, but yeah, this is where I'm at now. And I've been here for, since Feb, since the beginning of February. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy. And like, after I show you the footage, I'm going to tell you like, what are the What's the greatness of Airbnb and why you should try it out if you're not ready to buy furniture yet and you still want to save for that? Um, yeah, even if you don't want to buy furniture, even if you just want to stay here like for a year, not here specifically, like in an Airbnb, it's doable. And if you book in the beginning of the year, it's definitely, you're going to find great deals for sure. So yeah please stay tuned and yeah here are the places and then i'll tell you the deets so this is my place there's like the back dry area over there and then this is my entrance um kitchen uh fully stocked it has microwave it's a washing machine yeah our stove nice fridge and yeah like if i opened it's like stocked with all you can need glossies um okay yeah i have a bit of my groceries these cups on a left um plates and stuff and yeah is the iron and the ironing board and the bin yeah and then we have the living area so let me show you like all of it and yeah couches nice 
there's DSTV, there's Wi Fi, Acon, and then go into the main bedroom. This is my room. Nice decor, very like, neat and clean. White linen, you know what it is. Covered space and like makeup slash study area, getting ready area thing over here. And then we have the bathroom. There's only one bathroom. Also very clean, white towels. There's like a laundry bin. Um, yeah, it's a bath and shower combo with a nice glass, you know, <laughs> yeah, separating. And then, yeah, you just have your toilet and, you know, your cabinet thing. And then the second bedroom, this is just a guest room, a bit smaller, and it doesn't have like, the other room had like, where you can get ready and this wardrobe thing isn't built in like in the other one which you ever been it's still spacious and nice and yeah this is my home the place that i'm currently staying at now it's a studio apartment so it's much smaller than the previous one but it is still money well spent it's much closer to work and yeah i've been enjoying it it has this kitchenette area here and then there's the bathroom and the bathroom has a really great shower with like the water you just want to stay in there basically um yeah and here i came to view it first because i knew that i was going to be staying here for longer and i just wanted to make sure that i'm happy with the place Honestly, overall, I've just had a very great experience and I would highly recommend living in Airbnbs. You saw the places, you saw the prices. It's, <clears throat> you can get really good deals. And the reason why I got such a good deal for the first place is because, like, it's a t it is a two bedroom and it was only 5,000. So it is because the host who listed the place was new to Airbnb, so they had a discount for like the first three people to book before a certain a certain time, and they all jumped on that. And then also, like I said, for longer term stays, there are discounts. So there's like a weekly discount, and there's monthly discounts. And obviously, the monthly discounts are higher than the weekly discounts, and that's because I mean with Airbnb. People are booking per night. You don't have that guarantee that you're gonna have income like for the whole month. So that's why it's also beneficial to people to have like someone there for the whole month and they know that they have like a definite amount of income. So yeah, that's number one. The second thing, like I said, Airbnb comes with everything. <laughs> like both places that I stayed at had water and electricity included, um, there was Wi-Fi included, and they both have DSTV, so, I mean, what? I didn't even watch DSTV, honestly, but it was there. The first place had an Acon, this one has a fan, but yeah, heaters, like whatever you need, they have thought about it, and this place that I'm at now, they have cleaning, well, they before Corona, um, so I'm coming clean every day, and they change the sheets once a week, and once a week I'd get fruit, and I mean I'm really I'm just being catered to, <laughs> so it's it's really great. And in the place before the one in Eden Vale, um, someone would come clean once a week, and they'd also change the sheets. So yeah. Honestly, I think that it's something you should consider if you want to save up or if you like stranded and you want like you can't find a place immediately, you know, you could book for an Airbnb for a week or a month and try and look out for those places with new hosts where they have that discount as well because it honestly gets ridiculous. And the first place I actually checked 
and they increased their prices because even without the discounts it would have been without all the discounts it would have been like seven thousand a month which was still like ridiculously cheap so they have increased their prices unfortunately <coughs> but yeah and especially if you look in the beginning of the year so like if you're looking next year well the end of this year for next year you are gonna find new hosts because people just work like that like we like to start with the calendar year so yeah i would say just try and give it a shot if you like what you saw in this video you know it's it's worth it's worth your while it's been worth my while at least so yeah thank you for tuning in please make you like and subscribe and yeah you know you can hit me in the comments like if you think i'm overpaying if you think renting would be better like you know your conventional way or if you think you're gonna try this just let me know and please let me know if you have any like requests for videos because obviously this is my first one i do have a couple of ideas coming up but yeah i'm open to any questions and suggestions and all of that and thank you thank you thank you so much